have entered the realm of the truth. Make it the truth. If you tell it, know what it is. If you clean, declare your name. Whichever way it go, it'll definitely be the truth. What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the Queen of Paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. So y'all may be wondering, deeper than rap, like, where you get that from? Well, I'm going to tell you, I actually got deeper than rap from when Rich Homie Quan said it in an interview referring to Young Thug, allegedly, right? That's where the title came from. However, but you know, before we get into all of that, let's just start with the basis. For those who don't know, Marcus Smart, aka Muwap, okay? Allegedly, you know, I got these word allegedly, it's part of O-Block, okay? And as we'll outline, technically the feds think so too. Now, a couple weeks back, we went over some documents that Marcus Smart's legal team provided. Well, guess what? The government responded to one in particular um, in regards to certain drill rap videos and lyrics, okay? Now, what's crazy is because how how deep is it between Moonwalk and King Von? Let's, let's be honest. I know I was familiar or, in my opinion, felt like their bond was deep because... Rest in peace to King Von, first and foremost. When he was killed, Muwap, from what I saw, was the only one around him at that time to try to get him away by punching Quando Rondo. Now, again, just from what I saw, can't say what all happened. Nevertheless, okay, the government is saying this. Defendant's smart motion should be denied as moot. So, as you know, if you don't know, you haven't been watching my videos, so make sure you pay attention. That just means, hey, we're not going to use it anyway, okay? So, I mean, throw it out because it's really not what we're trying to do. So, I'm like, ooh, that's a good thing, right? Because they're not going to use for real and still trapping by a little dirt in King Von, right? Well, you know, King Von and Muwap, it wasn't just those particular songs, right? And just a little background in the same document, it says here that Bennett, if you don't know who Bennett is, that is Davon Bennett, a.k.a. King Vaughn. It says Bennett was a member and leader of Oblock and an associate of Defendant Smart, as well as other defendants. Bennett was, Bennett was also a well-known drill rapper who used the stage name King Vaughn. Presently, King Vaughn has over 3.8 million subscribers on his YouTube channel, and the music video took her to the O has 218 million views. At trial, witnesses will testify that in 2020, Vaughn purchased over a dozen custom Oblock diamond pendants worth between $6,000 and $30,000, okay, each for himself and members and associates of Oblock. At trial, evidence will prove that one of the Oblock pendants Bennett purchased was for Defendant Smart and Defendant Smart and Benny visited Icebox in Atlanta. Now, listen, they had that in the profit too. They, you know, had the photo, the still photo of them being in Icebox. I mean, I do recall seeing that in that. So they already have it. And again, one of the witnesses is a co-owner of Icebox. Now, I am my brother's keeper. Like I told you, I got wind of my opinion of their bond when I saw the video of the shooting from the night that King Von was killed, okay? And if you look on the Instagram page of Moobops, hey, definitely, he said, hey, we going and get him. Like, he shows his appreciation and love for King Von throughout his page. Check it out, because I did this morning, okay? Now, he also shows on his page a lot of photos of him and his friends, okay, in Old Block, or what appears to be Old Block, right? And this starts back all the way in 2018, and is, I believe, when it first started appearing on his Instagram page, okay? But the hope that we thought since they mooted the other two that we were done. No, it's actually four songs. So the government says they do intend to introduce a total of four drill rap music videos and their lyrics or portions, including a portion of a different song by Defendant Smart that includes the lyrics, Dude from 63rd Can't Get Back Up, and a song by King Von Took Her to the O. <sighs> Let me say, King Von actually spoke on that in an interview, and I think it was a no-jumper interview, and he said it just went with it. It was just, you know, but 
that may be coming back to bite Muwap in the ass. And like I told you, I originally saw a posting from 2018 of Muwap out with people from Old Block Apartments, right? Um, and the first post I saw that kind of shed some light onto the bond between Muwap and King Von was when it says, tell them ninjas they don't want war with us and then tag King Von. And also, out now, go watch Crazy Story, King Von. So again, hey, support, friendship, that's what I saw. Now, another photo of a lot of people that may look familiar to us, because some of which are not only King Von we see. We see a couple people that, um, if we're, okay, boss, boss top at the bottom. I don't know everybody. That's Prince Dre back there. Is that Gleesh in the back? You know, a couple people, and I believe that's um, C Murder. I don't know. I'm guessing, okay? <laughs> that's not for me to figure out. Y'all feel, um, do it. But what I will say here is say, nobody got hit, spent a block again. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, then it say free Duke, free EDQ, a hoe for not coming. Oh, you should came DQ. Now, the government footnotes also says they intend to introduce the music videos and lyrics of victim Carlton Weekly song, Dead Bitches, okay? And portions of a music vehicle um, video and lyrics of defendant to Carlos Offer's song, Never Changed. I didn't even know he was a rapper, okay? Now, again, um, because neither song nor artist is a subject of defendant's smart's motion, the government will not address them in greater detail here, although they are also admissible for the reasons set forth below. So now, they don't even know what part of these songs is going to be important. Ooh, it's getting spicy. It's getting spicy again, deeper than rap. And what's so crazy is this: this is a post, okay, on Moonwalk's page that said, "Words take can't even explain how hurt I am, big bro. I could have did more for you. I know I could have, could have. This shit was bigger than rap. Real street ninja, a uh, honey. So the title was fitting. Now." This was one, I, I'm going to be honest, I almost shed a tear because just seeing a video of them racing, I've seen it before, but it kind of hit differently today when I watched it. And um, Muwak wrote, I keep watching this. He burnt my ass. We was racing for $20, LOL. I ended up getting my money back from him because I bet it to me and people. Mm. Now, as detailed in government's prior filings, murder victim Carlton Weekly wrote and performed drill rap music under the stage name FBG Duck. Some old block members also made and continue to make drill rap music, including Defendant Smart. In their music and videos, old block members often asserted their association with old block, bragged about criminal activities, or publicly claimed responsibilities for acts of violence committed by old block, taunted rival gang members, and mocked and disparaged dead opposing gang members and their associates. O Block members also have used and continue to use social media platforms, including YouTube and Instagram, to promote O Block and disparage their rivals, include, including through their music. So it's it's kind of give, giving me that um, BG vibe, because you remember on his case, they were using his music and video saying it was like supposed to be like scaring people not to snitch, and then they're kind of setting up O Block to be the same. Now again, deeper than rap. It continues to be multiple posts on Muwap's Instagram page um, expressing how he feels in regards to King Von passing. Now, back to the documents, okay? It does say here that Defendant Smart and Bennett music videos and lyrics the government plans to admit are admissible. Highly probative evidence that is not substantially outweighed by any potential unfair. So, again, they saying, yo, you were close, but you wasn't close enough. So, again, long live King Von. Now, this is where things kind of get like, I'm like, uh, he said, what now? Like, is this in the song for real? I had to go listen. I ain't gonna lie. Because I'm like, ain't no way. So, it says that the government does attend to, um, attend, intends, gotta get it together to admit a video clip of Defendant Smart performing part of his song with lyrics. Dude from 63rd can't get back up. I'm gonna tell you this. This is why I'm kind of like, did like when was this song done done because if in reality he did have something to do with this crime that he's been charged for that would have been crazy as hell to put in the song secondly even if he didn't have nothing to do with it still would be crazy enough to put in the song being that allegedly you're part of a rival group of that person that it could be in reference to Whew. now 
I did see here because I've never listened to Muwap music. So I actually went and listened to it. One of the songs was I Am a Vet. And go check it out. Okay. Because he definitely um, says a lot. And King Von is featured on that song also. Okay. Now, again, this is another beautiful picture because the kids are so cute. A lot of them kids are bigger for sure now. But nevertheless, it says here, I ain't going to forget about them either. I'm going to be there for the growing up to the holidays, to the birthdays. So when they get older and somebody fucking with them, they're going to be able to call Uncle Muwak. I'm going to fuck somebody up for them because I know how they daddy would be about them. So listen to this. Again, just based off what he wrote on his Instagram page shows that they have a special bond, okay? Or at least close bond because uncle, auntie, like, I never been the one to, you know, want to call or have my kids call people that unless they really are family. And I'm not talking about, like, blood related, just, like, real close. Um, 23 seconds of Muwak's life is coming back to hunt him, okay? Because this is where the government is saying on July, on or about June 21st, 2021, Defendant Smart posted a 23 second video clip on his Instagram account, Muwak from the O, okay? where he is like literally saying the words <laughs> i just i don't know i feel like a lot of people you know have something to say about people reviewing cases but maybe a lot more people should review cases because when i say it's like redundant to what happened in bg federal case over a decade before this and now it's coming back to hunt them although it wasn't on this type of level, level but at the same time you gotta pay attention and again in his own words because again in your own words, move out. Like, you got this on your Instagram page, and it has a caption, Vaughn, get that man. Move out for show. Like, although, again, he's quoting a song, this is another reason why a lot of time um, in the legal system, they will use videos, they will use lyrics, or at least attempt to for this reason. Now, another thing they laid out is that witnesses will testify that 63rd Street is a reference to the area controlled by STL, a rival gang to O Block, okay? Now, in that weekly was a part of it. So, again, they're tying it all together. And they're even saying, "Oh, right, yeah, okay, we get that you're saying it's all just, you know, storytelling." Rest in peace to Mo3, because that just made me think of him. But anyway, that uh, it's some facts to it, okay? Now, I will say again, maybe that wasn't the smartest move to make in regards to even shedding light on some videos. Because when you got other videos, like, it's crazy. They even start quoting the words like this. I made this shit for a cipher, but we ain't never do it. Then it says before playing an audio recording on part of the song. Then saying the dude from 63rd can't get back up. Now listen, if y'all recall in the YNW Melly case, they were he was rapping somebody else's song. They tried to switch up the words. So this is getting again, it's just heating up. Trial starts in less than a month. And this is something, okay? Now, again, they're gonna provide the wording from the song. Now, I want to point this out, okay? They are now using what they have collected from Instagram, the Muwak from the O, right? And they're now using his own words, meaning in his actual emotion, he or his lawyers, whichever one you want to refer to, nevertheless, the defense says that's his rap name. So now they're tying into like, okay. Well, your name is Muwap. You go by Muwap. You admitted to that in your documentation. This is something, okay? Now, they even go as far as stating how the words in um, King Von song does have relation to possible real life, meaning the reference to Brick and FBG Duck's brother name was Brick. So, they break it down, okay? Very breaking down. And they say, hey, all this is admissible statements. This is not hearsay. This is not nothing. The defendant said it. That's why we're going to use it. Boom. Now, again, like I said, they did say that he used Muwap as his stage name. So they got a point. Will it stand, though? We don't know. The judge is still out on that. Okay. Now, again, <sighs> it's, it's a lot. And I never thought about it until today when I was reviewing the paperwork. Like, they are using, and this is why I feel like they're probably going to let it stand as far as the judge. Because they are now building 
their whole theory of O Block being a gang, right, or an enterprise, based off of what was said by members in their songs, including King Von, right? Now you have allegedly corroborators. You got witnesses that's going to testify to this, right? Now you have one of the people that they said was a leader, which was King Von, you know, one of the corroborators said that, saying things that can relate back or at least allude back to being a real situation is definitely, 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 definitely going to be a bad bad hurdles to have to jump through as a defense attorney, right? Because now you have to, like, is it really a facade, right? They push O-Block this much. Is it really just a group or, you know, or is it a gang? Like, oh, they're going to have a lot to do with that, okay? Now, again, they continue to break down what parts of what they're going to um, put in as far as to play for the jury. They also have exhibits of the wording that they're going to use. They're also going to um, state here that it is strong evidence of defendants' motive to kill weakly and their identity as the shooters. So, hey, it's more stuff that we don't even know about yet. Part of which, like I said, they're going to use the actual wording from the songs, okay? And they break it down. If y'all see here, move out from the O, boom. They even go on to having the actual, like, for one, how do you get this, okay? Like, this says 12 hours ago. If y'all pay attention to the screenshot, how did you even get this? Like, they were being watched like that. Like, this 12 hours ago. Somebody took this when it was only 12 hours old. And just, okay, again, whether he did or didn't do it, I don't know. I don't know these people wasn't there. Maybe it was too soon to even make a joke or allude to it because now it's coming back to hunt you, okay? They're going to use, um, took her to the O at court, at trial, I guess you would say. They're going to use um, King Von's song, as I already mentioned. This is the main part that's in bold that they're going to be um, providing um, as evidence. This too, okay? So, whew, and then the fact that, uh, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole. But, listen, to be continued. This is just getting started, okay? It's so much that's coming out and things are starting to tie together. It is beyond me. But I will say this, okay? If you take a look at the documentation on the original Chicago investigation, it's one thing, and I forgot to put it in a video, but I'll go ahead and talk about it. It's actually a witness that talks to the police, okay? That says these references to these songs. So they do have a person that was providing how accurate things was to it. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, it was butter. Oh, it was Trenches News or whoever corroborator one is. But I'm going to tell you this. It's not a young person. It's an older person that provided it. And that's why I leave it because another video is coming. So for now, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up on your girl, Mickey Truth. And as always, go over to MickeyTruth.com and get you that merch because you know I stay with that work. So until next time, holla! on YouTube and I did it my way. Content driven, not by views, so you know they doubted me. Okay. Mickey Toss, okay. Mickey Toss, Mickey Toss, the truth, truth, Mickey Shows, Mickey Shows, Mickey Shows, the proof, proof. Hey, hey. So yeah, I'm your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the queen of paperwork. And I just got one thing to say. I'm pulling work and you rappers ain't safe.